What's up, family? Big Ben here. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Hope your off-season is going well. Mine certainly going well, doing just what I want to do. Like the old Luke Bryan song, hunting and fishing and loving every day is kind of what I've been up to. But hey, wanted to hop on today and talk a little Oriole baseball with you and tell you why I'm so excited for 2023. How could you not be? I mean, the excitement is back big time in Birdland. 83 wins, a 31-game improvement from the previous year last year. A lot to look forward to. A few things I'm looking at. Uh, one, Gunnar Henderson, uh, one of the most talented young players, although we just got a glimpse. It was a sample size that I've seen in a long time. Huge upside. I want to see what those numbers look like after a full year at the big league level. I fully expect him to start at third base and be the Orioles' everyday third baseman. Adley Rutschman, okay, obviously he was hurt early in the year. That's another guy I want to see put in a full year. What are the numbers going to look like in a full year as well? And Jorge Mateo, for me, is very interesting. Only his first full year last year, defensive numbers were off the charts. I love him as a shortstop. I think he had significant strides defensively and got better and showed flashes of being an above-average offensive player. I know the numbers weren't there on the year, but all in all, I want to see Mateo with another full year under his belt. But probably the most exciting thing I'm looking forward to, it is showtime. It's showtime for Grayson Rodriguez. Folks, it is time to let the big dog eat, and Grayson Rodriguez is the big dog. I fully expect him to make the rotation out of spring training. I want to see what he can do over the course of a season for sure. So those are three or four things I'm super excited about uh, about 2023. The other thing that I'm excited about is, okay, how do you get better and what's it going to look like for Mike Elias in the front office as far as what the free agent market and adding to this very young, talented group and the roster that we have right now. So if I look at the Orioles, the Orioles had a lot of success last year. Obviously, pitching and defense was the key for the Orioles. The defense was really, really solid. The pitching to, had huge strides from the previous year. And so how do you get better? Well, I, you know, for me, I think, you know, John Means obviously is not going to make the rotation. He won't be ready coming off of Tommy John surgery. D.L. Hawley, I don't know. You know, he may make the rotation, but he may benefit the Orioles better being a reliever. So I'm not sold yet that he's going to be in that rotation for the Orioles. So I think the Orioles will go out and they will target a starting pitcher. And I think it's going to be a left-handed starting pitcher because there's a good chance we don't have a left-hander in the rotation uh, come April. And so a, a name that I'm looking at is Sean Manaya. Keep an, keep an eye out for Sean Manaya. Left-handed pitcher, pitched with the Padres last year. Been very durable the last couple of years, averaging, what, 170 innings uh, the last couple of seasons. And what I love about Sean Manaya, he is a strike thrower. Go back and look at his career numbers. Three and a half to one strikeout to walk ratio. Less hits and innings pitch. He would benefit pitching in Camden Yards. No doubt about that. The other thing I look at is, okay, how can you get better offensively? Orioles averaged, what, 4.1, 4.2 runs per game last year. That was about 10th best at the, in the American League. So, got to do better uh, scoring runs. I mean, you got to be able to bang with the big boys in the American League. So, how do you get there? I think Mel Castle has a better year. I think Austin Hayes has a better year. Uh, Gunnar Henderson is going to add to that. I think all the pieces are going to get better in a lot of ways for the Orioles because of the experience and getting every day at bats and some guys getting those at bats that they need to kind of start to figure things out at the big league level. But I also think there's a big need for the Orioles from an offensive standpoint as well, a difference maker kind of bat, if you will. The Orioles on record saying they would love a left-handed batter, DH, a guy that could play first base, and maybe put him in the corner outfield, Cody Bellinger. I'm a big fan of Cody Bellinger. And I know, look, the numbers haven't been great the last couple of years, but he was non-tendered by the Dodgers. Dodgers didn't want to pay him. And I know there's going to be a big market for him. There's no doubt about that. But his agent, his own record, is saying that Cody Bellinger wants just a one-year contract to show everybody that he is healthy, show everybody that he can get back to that MVP-type form that he had back in 2019. I think you could plug him in in center field. You could put him in a corner outfielder. And he plays a pretty solid first base as well. Left-handed bat, which is what the Orioles need at Camden Yard. So keep an eye out for the two left-handers, Sean Manaya. Cody Bellinger could be what it takes to get the Orioles over the top and into the playoffs in 2023. Take care, family.